Welcome to Getting Started with Remote Desktop Manager Step 2. Create your Devolutions account and add your data source for individual. So we're ready to get started. Let's launch the application. When starting RDM, you'll notice that you already have a local data source, which in fact is an SQLite data source. You always need at least one data source, so we won't delete it right away. You see data sources are at the heart of RDM. They are the container that holds all your entries. Let's go in File and start by creating a Devolutions account. You see, the Devolutions account is your entry point to all your online services, such as Customer Portal, Online Database, Customer Installer, Online Backup, and much more. You'll see just how handy the Devolutions account is in this step and the following ones. Click on Create Devolutions Account, and then on Create Your Account. Enter all the required information, email address, first and last name, and a strong password. Click on Create Account. You'll just need to click on the activation link that has automatically been sent to your email address to activate your account. Now that this is done, let's head back in RDM and create your first data source. The data sources for individuals are for individuals or for teams of three users or less that do not want to implement security. To help you select the data source, here is a set of concerns and a list of data sources that can serve in such context. If you have multiple concerns, simply create the intersection of all sets to isolate a list of choices. So let's say I would need a data source that is cloud-based, that allows me to share information between computers and support the offline mode. I'll look at the table and I can see that the Devolutions Online Drive would be perfect for me. Let's first create a new data source. Click on File, Data Sources, then on the plus to add a new data source and then I'll select Devolutions Online Drive and click on OK. Now, if you wish to learn more about all the data source that RDM supports, I would invite you to watch the video Learn More About Remote Desktop Manager Data Source. I'll add the link below. Back to a Devolutions Online Drive data source. Type in the name of your data source. I'll enter the name of my fictional company, Windjammer, then the username, which will be your Devolutions account email address, and click on OK you'll automatically be prompted by the backup window. For the moment, we will click on Don't Configure as we will see the online backup in details in step four. If you wish to delete your local database since it's no longer needed, select your local data source and click on the X to delete it. Click on OK. You'll get prompted by the Devolutions account login since you do need one for Devolutions Online Drive. Enter your password and click on Continue. You'll then get prompted by the data source master key window. You see, when choosing any data source type that is not on premises, you need to think about the safety of the data at rest or in a portable environment like a USB flash drive or USB hard drive. We strongly recommend that you further encrypt your data by applying a master key for file based solutions. This ensures only you can read the data. So I'll enter a strong master key. Now, be sure to remember or back up your master key somewhere secure, because if you lose or forget your master key, we won't be able to recover your data. And there you go. You can now see my Devolutions Online Drive data source. Now you should be ready to set up your Devolutions Online Backup, which is our next tutorial video.